Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today I want to show you how I squared my Hypercube. The other day when I was printing these um, nerve gun scopes for my son, I noticed that the, the circle isn't exactly around. So I started doing some, some tests, doing calibration cubes to get it all square up, squared up. So let me show you what I did. I used the standard 20 millimeter calibration cube and scaled it to 100 by 100 by 100. Let's start with a photo of how skew it was. So the cube in the front is before I fixed the calibration. You can see that the bottoms line up, but as the printer moves higher and higher, the top leans towards the left in this picture. And at the back, it's squared up. So after printing the calibration cube, I left it on the bed, and I take, not uh, take loosening it. The bottom, I just check, it is square. I then take my uh, my ruler and put it against the side of the the part and move the nozzle in line with with that with the at the bottom of the ruler. And then what I do is I move in my y axis. I move the nozzle up, and that now should still line up with the uh, the ruler. Well, it's now should not be perpendicular to the bottom of the print, so those two points should now line up. And in my case, it was out by like almost five millimeters at the top there. In my core XY setup, if I move the top belt or if I tighten the top belt, the part of the print or the part of the gantry closest to us is going to move um, towards the right so that's what we need to do we need to tighten the top belt so the bottom stays still and the, the, the top moves to the right if the belts are already quite tight you could also loosen the bottom belt instead of tightening the top belt Now we can move the print head, the nozzle down to the bottom of the ruler again, and then move it back up, and then check whether everything is in alignment now. So this time when I take my square, line it up to the bottom of the print, it lines up exactly with the nozzle's exit at the top where the filament comes out. All we have to do now is do another test print. Success, and this is the result. So I put my first calibration cube just in front of the one we just printed to show you the difference. And now the uh, the one at the back is perfectly square and beautifully and shiny. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And uh, thanks for, for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.